You're listening to the My Morning Devotional Podcast, episode 1063. Today's Devo is called, He Remains Faithful. Hey there, we're the Alessis, a ministry family working together in our church in Miami, Florida. And if you're like us, when days get busy and to-do lists get longer, it can be hard to find devotional time. That's why we've partnered with our friend Allison to produce a five-minute daily dose of heaven. This is the My Morning Devotional Podcast. Good morning and happy Wednesday, everybody. You are halfway through the work week. So that just means today, two more days, and it's the weekend. (laughs) And it's also the summertime, so give yourself some relaxation time. If you haven't enjoyed some times with maybe your spouse or your kids, be sure to give yourself some times to really enjoy the summertime. My name is Lauren, and I'll be your host for this week. The verse for the day is 2 Timothy 2. 13. And this was a really challenging verse for me. It was a really sort of wake up call verse for me. And I hope it is for you too. 2 Timothy 2 13. And it says, If we are faithless, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. Let me repeat that. If we are faithless, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. This is just such a mind blowing verse to me because I think it just is all about the character of God. Even when we struggle with our faith, God cannot physically, cannot struggle with his faith because he is still faithful. He can't separate himself from his faithfulness. It's just who he is. So even when I struggle with my faith, even when I'm like, God, I don't know if you could do this. God's like, well, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to do it because I am God and I am faithful and that's who I am. And I think it is important to Recognize that there's a distinction between God being faithful and then seed time and harvest. And I think as Christians, we know this distinction. So if you sow bad seeds, you know, there's going to be a bad fruit because that's seed time and harvest. And if you sow good seeds, there's going to be a good harvest. That's seed time and harvest. But when we're talking about the faithfulness of God and when we're talking about when you've sown good seeds and you've waited out the time and you're waiting for a good harvest, that is God's faithfulness. There will always be a harvest, whether it's a good seed or a bad seed, because that's God's faithfulness. It's who he is. God will always come through in the end. And I know this verse may be a struggle for you to wrap your head around. It may mess with your theology a little bit. And trust me, for me, there are some days where this is hard for me to wrap my head around too. And I just encourage you, submit that to God. Pray about it. That even when I struggle with my faith, and maybe sometimes I don't know if I believe it all, God still remains faithful. Submit that to God. Submit those thoughts to God. But here's how I want to go out with this podcast today. If you're struggling with your faith, if you're struggling that God will come through for you, if you're struggling with your promise, just know this, God is still faithful. And the truth is, there's nothing we can do to change that. It's just God and his character. So let's pray to finish out this Wednesday, to finish out this Devo for today. God, we thank you so much for your faithfulness, God. And we thank you so much that it's not just a trait that you have, but Lord, it's who you are. Because that just makes you so much more powerful, so much more encouraging to be able to put our trust in you, God. And we thank you for that, God. And I just pray for everybody hearing this Devo today, God, if they're struggling with their faith, if they're struggling with their walk, if there's anything in them that they're really battling, God, I just pray that they submit that to you, God. And may they be reminded, God, that faithfulness is not just a trait that you have. It is who you are. You cannot separate yourself from your faithfulness, God. And we thank you for that. And we submit all of our questions and everything we're struggling with to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So there you have it, your five-minute daily dose of heaven. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We pray these devotionals empower you to take on your day. If you found value in this devotional, share it with a friend, leave a comment or review for us on the app you're using right now. Until tomorrow, we pray that your latte is strong, but your love for Jesus is stronger.